Welcome one day more to my channel, Helping Road Teachers. Hello, my name is Sandra and in today's video we will focus on an activity for pupils in the sixth year of primary school. It is thought for a class of 24 students, but the activity can always be adapted to anyone. The first thing you need to know is that learning is about what people do. That's why this activity is designed as a PBL, Project Based Learning. To make this activity center learning effective, we have to take into account three main aspects. The social design, the set design and the epistemic design, which is related with the ACAT framework. It's a cross-curricular activity, divided into three and small activities, but I will explain that later, so stay tuned! According to social design, all the activities will be done in groups of five people, formed by the teacher to ensure diversity in the groups. As for the set design, the environment is another factor to take into account. The activities will be done in the school, which is a more academic environment, but they can always complete the activities in their homes if possible, as the students will only need one of the electronic devices shown in the screen. The epistemic design is the most important part, as it is about how the activity works. The activity is designed for four groups of students who will do the three activities on a rotating basis. The teacher will choose a group that needs a little more help, in this case, group four. Each group will start with a different activity so that group four, which will need the most scaffolding, will do activity one at the same time as group one, activity three at the same time as group two, and the same with activity two. So, there will only be two groups doing the same activity at the same time. In this way, group 4 will always have a reference group to help each other. And what about the time? All the activities have a maximum of 5 and a minimum of 2 minutes to present the final results. There will be a total of 10 lessons. The first one will be the presentation of the activities and then they will have 3 lessons for each activity, 2 of them to prepare it and the third one for the presentation. And what about if we want to do it from home? There will be no problem. Activity 2 and 3 are present through a video, so the only thing we will need to change will be to record a video giving instruction for each activity like this one could be. Do activity 1 also with a speaker off and also we will need to have an emulators available for each one of the students because they will have to make the video by Zoom or Google Meet as they won't be able to meet each other. Now I'm finally going to present the three activities, so if you are interested in watching the complete activity, click on the link of the description. I call the first activity Real Solutions. It relates English and science. Students will have to watch a video of their choice on YouTube about environmental problems, as you are seeing on the screen. They will have to make a summary about it, an opinion essay so that they reflect better on the main topic and propose as a group some real solutions, explaining what climate change is and how it affects the Earth. They will make a real presentation to their classmates, made with Genially. To access it, you will need to click on the email address I mentioned before. Once you have entered, you will see that you have several presentation templates to choose from. This is the final product of the presentation, but you have the whole activity in another video. This is my favorite activity because I think it's the most fun. It's about making a TV show about the level of geography and history in today's families. All members of the group will draw up a list of questions about geography and history. In the video, they will talk about the interview and discuss them together. They will present a small outline of the score of each family through Miro, like the one you are seeing on the screen. Miro has several model schemas already created, in which you will need to adapt them with the new information. For this, you will also need a Gmail account and they will write the script of the program in a Google document. I remind you that you have all the activity in the link of the description. And finally, we have the third activity, a maths comic. This activity relates English and mathematics, as in activity 2, and all the members of the group will have to write a story about a mathematician, where verbs in the past, present and future tense have to appear at least twice. They will make a video in a comic way, with a storyboard 
or in my case with Big Stone. But let your students choose be between those two tools. As the applications are not totally free, they will have to capture the images, create and edit the video with the sequence of images themselves, saying the script with their voiceover, and writing the script using Google Documents. The videos in Activity 2 and 3 can be edited by an application with which the students are familiar, as long as they inform the teacher beforehand to see if they are reliable. Once you have seen all the activities, I would like to say that I have done them by myself and they are thought for a group. That's why some changes appear, like that you can only hear my voice or that there is only one family interviewed in Activity 2. I hope you are following the video well so far, so let's continue. As a professional, I know that there are certain ethical issues to be taken into account when considering the design of the activities, such as the risk that working in a team can lead to social problems, the non-traditional way of assessment that may upset some parents, and the fact that some pupils may have difficulties in getting an electronic device. There are also certain issues regarding the tools we use in these activities. For all the tools that you are seeing on the screen, I have developed from a professional angle a simpler rubric from the one of task 5, to check accessibility, social presence and privacy in each of the tools, as there are the three of the most important things for me. Most applications require an email address, so it would be a good idea to create one for students for professional use only. But I consider that the added value of using these tools is more important than the few problems that can give you. Each activity has an important part, where they will learn to select only the necessary information from a video and see how to record it in a creative way to get information in a truthful way and to contrast it with their peers. As all groups will do the three activities, they will rapidly develop the capacity of adapting to a new context. In addition, most of the applications have instructions within them, so they will also have developed the coordination of conscious and voluntary activities that are located in the frontal lobe. These qualities are also included in the long thing, which is the current degree in which all the competencies that a pupil must acquire during primary education appears, and I have taken it into account when preparing the task. Therefore, I will leave you in the complementary document of the description this table with the competencies that are developed in total in all the activities. And after all this information, how do we evaluate these activities? All the activities will be assessed by a rubric. Activities 2 and 3 will have the same rubric because they are both in video format, but Activity 1 will have a different assessment. On the one hand, the rubric of Activity 1 will take into account fluency and pronunciation when speaking, the content of the presentation, the work group, and creativity and originality. On the other hand, the rubric of Activities 2 and 3 will take into account content, work group, creativity and originality, and language skills. I also wanted to highlight how these activities are helping our children PLE, personal learning environment. Personal learning environment are systems that help learners above all to take control and manage their own learning. They collect a set of resources and tools with which we learn, exchange or share information. That is why, through these three activities, the student will learn that his or her PLE can be broader than he or she thought. At this stage of primary school, their PLE is developing, and that is when we have to provide new tools to broaden the horizons of a student's learning, increasing their creativity and self-confidence by knowing and controlling tools outside their comfort zone. This is my PLE. As you can see, here are many websites, tools and applications. But I am only going to talk about five of them, which are the most important for me. First of all, we have Hour of Code, which is about programming and creating new activities for pupils for all ages. Then we have Canva and Genially. These two tools are very important because I have discovered them during this course. Canva 
is also most important than generally because it uh, provides you more material for your presentations. Then we have Blogger, which is the most important tool during this course. I have published there with my classmates all the works and projects. And finally, we have Anchor, which is an application for your mobile phone that provides you um, tools for create your own podcast. Now I'm going to talk about the teacher competencies for the digital world. I'm going to use as a model the infography that my group and I made for one of the presentations of this course. So the first point is point number three, the expanded reflective practical. This point talks about analyze in action and on action, which, which means in action is during the activity and in action after the activity. Uh, and evaluate the results for the future, observing how the activities are going and introducing and planning changes and being conscious of the decisions to make sure that these help to the development of your students. Also, using indices to reflect. Now we move to the second point, which is point number four. This point is basically talking about the ability to learn and to understand and use something that we also have studied which is clearly on teachers. Teachers must have the capacity to create and adapt their own personal learning environment through the use of ITCs, controlling and improving it by those ICTs. And finally, I'm going to talk about point number six, which is about the relationship with families and the environment. Recently, there have been many changes in the way families are constituted in their conference and also in the origin of the student body. That is why ICTs have played a fundamental role in increasing the communication capacity between teachers and family. I believe that I deserve an eye. During this course, I have realized that being a dancer helps when it comes to this feeling and giving the best of myself. I think that even though I have had some things wrong or that can be improved, I have done my best. And I think that's what it's all about, not only when dancing, but in life. The most important role in this course for me is also the most difficult, and that is the analyst. I have never reflected so much on the work I've, I have done. I didn't even know that you could reflect on an infography. And it seems to me something complicated, but very useful in what will be our trajectory as teachers.